Well, first of all, thank you so much. I feel like a little bit fangirly. I'm trying to act like super cool, but I never actually thought that anyone from WeWork would respond. So this is like, I texted my brother. I was like, he's going to be on the show. Well, thanks for having me. And uh, yeah, yeah, I um, uh, sort of oversee our content on um, digital content, and uh, I'm really excited to be here and talking about this fun video that we did. Okay, so your team recently produced a video which I saw on Google's Instagram page and other social channels. Tell me a little bit about the idea behind this video and why you guys decided to post it now. Yeah, I mean, I think that, you know, after the sort of year that we had, you know, which was a quite a challenging one, both for staff and, and for members, and we wanted to be able to remind people what WeWork was all about, and that WeWork isn't one person or two people. WeWork is really about the community that is built um, in every building around the world, whether they're in New York or whether they're in Tel Aviv or, or anywhere else. WeWork is really about the people and the community uh, that is built there. So we wanted to put a video together that, you know, acknowledge some of the hurdles and mistakes that have been made in the past, but to put the focus on our members, the ones that have really built WeWork into what it is today and to remind people that that element is still there and it's as strong as ever. Right, so it's shot really simply, right? It's like not a million dollar production, really basic footage um, that was clearly shot with a cell phone. Why do it this way? Why have it look so amateurish? Um, and were you concerned that that would reflect badly on the brand? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, anybody watching this probably knows, but like, you know, if you're not authentic on social, no one is paying attention to you or they'll move right by you or they'll actually have a negative reaction to something that you're putting out. So. The idea here was, you know, to be authentic and just to sort of own it and then let our members speak for us. So the first few frames are actually just text. Why did you guys decide to start it off this way? You know, we have always said the same thing. You gotta grab people, I would even say three seconds. Like, there's not a lot of time, especially as you're a brand. It's harder. And so we knew we were in a unique position because of all of the noise and all of the attention that had been focused on us. And this was the first time that we had addressed it. We knew that we had to say something and so we had to come right out with it. And really the best way to do it was with text. And we just thought, let's just like black and white, literally just like put it out there. And we knew that if people saw us you know, addressing what had sort of happened over the last few months, that they were gonna watch the rest of it. So yeah, I mean, I think that that was our version of the hook. It doesn't always have to be somebody doing something crazy in three seconds. Like it literally, if you're just in your particular moment, uh, people are gonna pay attention if they wanna hear what you have to say. And in that moment, people wanted to hear what we had to say. I like that, people are gonna pay attention if they wanna hear what you have to say. I think we sometimes overvalue and overestimate how much people actually wanna listen, but if you can figure out what they wanna hear and share that with them, I think and they're, and they're rare, right? They're rare moments, especially for brands. Very rare. You know, I tell people like, you'll post a hundred videos and maybe one will be relevant and people will listen. But you have to post a hundred so you can have that one. Totally, totally. How long did the entire process take and what sort of resources did you actually need? Well, I think that from start to finish, maybe a, maybe a week. Um, and the only thing that cost money was there's some music in there, but other than that, it was... They created the whole thing in-house. In, all in-house with one person. Why did you guys choose to focus on the community aspect of the work when we're telling the company story? Because the community element is the core of what makes WeWork special. It's it's really fun anytime you you bring somebody into a WeWork for the first time. It's like a light bulb goes off and they totally get it. They feel that energy, that vibe, that sort of, that there's a buzz of, of people sort of either sitting in a nook, uh, having a meeting or grabbing a coffee and, and talking to somebody and like, it allows people to make connections that they wouldn't be able to make anywhere else. And so that is the, the thing that makes us special that makes us stand out from you know most any any other type of office space is that it's not just about the walls, it's it's about the people. And so what better way to sort of tell our story than to actually use the people? So how would you suggest to other companies that are looking to tell their story? Obviously not everybody has user generated footage from cell phones. So what is the best way for other companies to do the same thing? I mean, I think the thing with, with, with social and digital, no matter where you are, whether you're in a business or a political campaign or a government agency or where, or even a B2B business, like if you are a successful business, there is something unique about you 
And so exploiting that element um, is, I think, the most powerful thing. And we are so desperate for real authentic connections now. I think that there's so much out there that isn't real or it's highly produced. And when you have that moment, it's just, it's really, really powerful. I mean, a good example just literally happened yesterday. You know, the New York Times rolled out their endorsement and they did this whole video series and this whole content and asking questions with candidates who are ready for it and, and all that. But the video clip that they put out yesterday that got all of the attention was in an elevator, Vice President Biden and the elevator attendant looks at him and just like, I love you. You know, you're one of my favorite people. And you know, they end up taking a, a photo. That at one point yesterday got shared six times more than all the videos combined of the candidates that were endorsed because it's a real moment. They can't fake that. You can't, and that's you can't fake so it. scary. It's like People actually have to mean it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was a it was an incredibly powerful moment and totally unscripted. But like that's what people want. The the lesson for a business, I think, is is that authenticity, finding that moment, whatever it might be. It's easier for us because we have so many buildings and so many experiences. But like everybody's got something. Well, you guys did an amazing job, Tim. Thank you so so much, and thank you again for coming on to the show. Well, cool, cool. It was great doing this. I really it's, it was really fun. So um, looking forward to seeing the final product. And yeah, when you're in New York, let me know. I will most definitely. Cool. All right, have a great day. All right, talk to you. Bye.